Hey there guys, it's Greg from Beastie Geeks and thank you so much for watching our channel. Today we are going to visit 19th century London with Chamber of Wonders by Ludus Magnus Studio. You will race against other players who will boast the best selection of the strangest objects to construct the titular uh, Chamber of Wonders. A small museum filled with weird artifacts and natural wonders from around the world. Is Chamber of Wonders fun as it sounds? Let's check out and if you like um, our work please don't forget to subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up. So let's start and let's check Chamber of Wonders. Chamber of Wonders is a game for two to four players. The objective of the game is to set up the best Chamber of Wonders by collecting wonder cards. Players can visit famous London places and use actions granted by those locations and nearby contacts hiding in the dark alleys of the city. That's the way to collect the most precious and attractive curiosities. You can go to the auction house and bid for weird artifacts or steal them mm, from your opponents. Just grab as many peculiar items as you can and place them in your display cabinet. The more unique the display, the more points you will gain at the end of the game. Before we start to list the pros and cons, take into consideration our review is based on the prototype of the game, highly advanced but Kickstarter campaign and further development can bring new elements to this game. One session always includes four locations and four agents providing unique actions. But every time you set up the game, you can choose a set of locations and set of agents, not only making the game much more replayable, but also matching your needs. Depending on your choices, you can have nice, polite, calm sessions, but by adding to the game Abbey building, for example, you are going to introduce a lot of negative interaction, taking cards from other players and ruining their plans. This is a huge pro because the same game can be played on various occasions and with a different approach. This also means you can play this game both with your biggest board game rival and with your grandma during Sunday visits. I have no idea how long developers will be successful with coming up with the new, unique themes for board games, but Ludus is doing great so far. Chamber of Wonders looks great, the cardboard buildings are a nice idea to bring game more to life, and art on card is very pleasing. Everything is very cohesive and the only thing I hope would be addressed is some storage solution. After you construct your card holders working as exhibition, there is no way you can squeeze it into the box. And deconstructing and constructing them each time would be a waste of time and a big test of your patience. The game works fine for two players, but more people at the table means much more interaction and more fun. Also, some buildings and agents work better with three or more players, especially those requiring actions like bidding or taking away cards from someone's hand. Most of the actions you take during the game will influence other players or force other players to participate in the activities you have chosen. With this solution you will be engaged by the game all the time and there is practically no downtime between the rounds. The gameplay is really fast, explaining the rules takes up to 10 minutes and you can easily play the game a few times in a row without feeling bored. Iconography similar to this from Black Rose Wars here can be confusing. There are many games on the market where just by looking at the icons you know which actions you can expect, but here some of them are not intuitive enough. This is extra important because some actions have a similar effect at the first glance, so it's easy to be misled. I hope it's the prototype thing and this will be addressed in the final version of the game, plus we will get some small player aids explaining all actions. So far we like the game a lot and we hope that Ludus will add more content through Kickstarter campaign and address some minor issues to make this game incredible. Potential is here and not very much needs to be done to make this game a real gem. That's all for today, see you in the next game.